Hi everybody, this is Erica Zambonini with the Shenandoah Valley Discovery Museum. I'm a board member at the museum, but I also teach some after school Storyland art classes there, where we usually read a book or learn about a famous artist and do a project that goes along with that. So today, this project is both. So we're gonna do a project that is based on the style of Jackson Pollock, the action artist, abstract artist, who threw his paint around on giant canvases and made a big mess, but really beautiful abstract paintings. But we're not gonna be that messy because I have a little project that we can do with simple supplies that I'm sure you all have at home. We're gonna use some tempera paints. Any brand is fine, any colors are fine, whatever you have. Little containers, I have yogurt containers, any kind of yarn that you have, a pair of scissors, a popsicle stick, and a toothbrush. So the toothbrush is optional. We're gonna do add some little splatters to the painting after we use our yarn. So that is totally up to you. If you don't have that, it's not needed. Also paper. So I have a couple of different sizes here. It doesn't matter what color, what type of paper. This is very, um, we're going with whatever we have at home since we're creating lots of art at home these days. So small paper, big paper, colored paper, black paper. If you use black paper, just make sure you use lighter, brighter colors that are gonna show up. And one trick I have for that is if you're taking, say orange or blue, which might not show up well on black, add a little bit of white to it and it makes it just pop a little bit more. I use that anyway, even if I'm using white paper, it just makes your colors a little bit brighter. So I also wanna show you this book called Swatch, The Girl Who Loved Color. And this book has great illustrations. Author is Julia Danos. The, the illustrations in here are just perfect for this project because it's about a girl named Swatch who's chasing color and she wants to catch them and put them in jars, but they're trying to get away from her. They're swirling together. And it's just a great, I mean, you'll see when we do this project how your pictures come out looking a lot like this with your colors just swirling around. So don't be afraid to let them mix together and see what you can come up with. 